Excellent. We are live in the bonus masterclass today, which is premium positioning and online mastery. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to go and check in the group and make sure that it's all working fine. Uh, OK, so let's just check the group. I'm doing it on my phone now. And then also let me know if you can hear me and see me OK. Tell me, please. And then say, uh, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hi, Jenny. I can hear you. I can see you. And then I know that um, it's all working fine. So let's have a look here. I think it's working because I think, yes, I can see myself. I can see myself. OK, excellent, excellent. So I'm just going to wait for everyone to join in. Uh, it takes a little time sometimes to uh, find everyone. Uh, so it ought to find me. So I think that's all good. OK, cool. I think, oh, that was just, I sent the message there. I can see Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. It's working, it's working. All right, so I'm going to dive straight in. Uh, I assume that some of you will be watching the replay and then some of you are watching it live. Uh, I have found with this event, actually, that a lot of people are catching the replays. People are busy and it's okay. So I, what I've decided to do um, I said that I will um, like close the replays on Sunday, but I'm actually going to keep the replays open till next Sunday. However, the offers and all the benefits and the three for twos and things like that, that is for on offer this week, will end on, on Sunday, uh, the 5th. But you have actually access to watch these replays for a bit of a longer time than I originally, because I just felt the energy today and I was like, ah, oh, no, a lot of people have even not caught up. They they, they all want to do it, but oh, another sort of six days, it doesn't feel like it's enough time. So I'm going to leave the masterclasses in this group for another extra week. All right, cool. So let's dive in today. Who here, who's watching? has been watching day one, two, and three. Just let me know, like, yes or no, have you been watching? Hi, Melissa. Have you been watching day uh, day one, two, three? Yeah, that's nice, Melissa, isn't it? Yeah. Um, tell me what you've been watching so far. Maybe drop me, like, a message under here what you have felt been the most beneficial or what you've um, felt like you've benefited most from so far is it like the energy upgrades yes so Melissa has done day one two and three. Oh, yay Ex excellent I love it um yeah just just let me know the outline yeah she loves the outline yeah and then some of you would have loved you know the coaching sort of questions and the different things that I've asked you to do so that you can go deeper with yourself and there's some of it I've got a message today and the lady she was like I love the bioenergy clearing uh, so some of you will love certain things and then some of some of you will, will love other things as well like it's really a personal journey isn't it okay so let's dive into today Melissa loved the outline Amanda I don't know if you watched all of it she might have not watched all of it but what you what you do um, enjoy most Okay, let's dive in. So housekeeping, um, you can find all the replays in the guide section uh, inside this group. If you are signed up with the emails as well, you will get, you would have got the emails um, about the replays. I have also stored the replays on YouTube because sometimes people prefer just to watch it from YouTube and not from Facebook. So I've done that. So you find that there. They're now going to be available till the 12th of March, which is another week. I've decided for you to have it for another week, which I think it's going to be plenty of time for everyone to catch up with everything. Um, that was that. There are a few events this week. So you may have already seen I've got a um, like a schedule thing for this week. So we have today premium mastery uh, premium uh, positioning and online mastery tomorrow I'm going to do shop with Jenny which is a shop it's actually me it's describing all my different programs and explaining to you the different benefits from the different things and why you would need it and why 
what's 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 right for who etc so i'm just going to give more of an in-depth explanation to all the other programs only because i know that there's so many new people in the community so most people are going to be like i don't even know like apart from jenny's club i don't know what she does so i'm going to explain a few more things tomorrow then we have the new earth masterclass which is at 5 30 um so it's tomorrow afternoon uk time this is it's just happened to be this week but I am running this masterclass every month. It is actually a new earth masterclass where we are learning about polarity and how we can embody more of unity consciousness as we lead ourselves as a visionary healers and visionary CEOs into new earth because um, we are programming separation programming, which is fear and uh, all the all the all the human ego sort of like vibes um we're programming this way and how can we then deprogram ourselves and go into unity consciousness and lead with you know unwavering confidence and um unwavering trust into what we do that's the idea of these masterclasses so tomorrow it's from hidden to visible so i speak speak about a duality uh, or a polarity topic each month so come along to that one you can sign up for that one via email it's a private zoom room it's not a Facebook Live. Tomorrow is a Facebook Live on the Shop with Jenny on Wednesday. So that's the new app. So sign up to that one. Um, on Wednesday, I'm doing a call. We're here in the Facebook group, a Facebook Live with my client, Carol. And she's going to be sharing about the Light Body program and how she has found it and how the benefits and the results that she's had and all the wonderful upgrades and DNA changes and all the amazing things that she wants to share. Wednesday, that's Wednesday. Thursday, that's the last day to log your homework, okay? Because there will be a price draw on Friday. So it's the last day to log your homework, uh, which is in, uh, in the guide section again. Homework day one, day two, day three to win prices. That's Thursday. Thursday as well, in the evening UK time, we have a Q&A call, how to join this community. So there's different ways to join the community and you want to maybe find out more about that. And that's questions for anyone who is interested in anything that I do, um, who would like to be a part of it. And it's not a sales call. It is a complete, transparent uh, com com conversation in a private Zoom, Zoom room where you can ask questions. OK, so that's all. You have to sign up for that one. It's a uh, meeting, a Zoom meeting. You can see the link in this group. On top of the group, there is schedule that I posted today, which is pinned to the top. In the comments of that post is the sign up for New Earth and the sign up for the um, Q&A, how to join the community. So if you're interested, in the new earth masterclass and how to join the community and ask questions to me directly like this inside the zoom room then you want to sign up to the meeting the zoom meeting okay if you have any issues with anything let me know i'll give you the links friday is the prize draw <laughs> so we do the, the prize draw on friday okay that was all the housekeeping i hope that was making sense so now i feel really hot now because i've had my i'm going to take this off i've had my um radiator on in here in my office and now it's absolutely piping hot <laughs> like seriously I turned it off earlier so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it okay so let's dive into premium positioning and online mastery okay first of all when it comes to the online world there's not something I want to say to you guys now the whole the whole the whole online world is always change, changing like everything is always changing the way people do marketing the way people do um you know community building the way things change things are always changing in the online world and in in how to build your business basically so you kind of want to keep up uh, that's kind of a thing that always always change and will always change and it will always be different things that stop working and then set some other things you have to come up with other things that will then work and that is how the customer or the customer journey or the human evolution of the customer evolves. So therefore, as we as entrepreneurs, so we have to evolve with our customers so that we can un not just not just serve them, but understand them better so that they are willing to invest in their dreams and wanting to, you know, to to grow and expand and create a successful life and business. 
So that happens all the time. I talk about premium positioning and I talk about mastery because I believe that with as with anything else that you would like to be successful in, it means mastery, right? So it's almost like let's raise the bar. Let's become fully embodied business owners. Uh, many of you didn't come into this space to become a fully fledged embodied online entrepreneur you probably do your you know do your work because you love doing healing coaching supporting those things with people it's what you love doing you have you have you know your heart expands like when you do this work so when it comes to the business building and marketing it's not necessarily something that you kind of wanted to do perhaps who who feels this way who feels that way that it's not necessarily what you signed up for in a way because you want to be um yes hi Hokan. yes the energy upgrades yes tell me what you feel guys tell me how you feel about this do you feel like you want to do your soul work your healing your clearings you want to feel all do you want to do all the amazing beautiful healing and creative work but marketing a business is like, I'm not sure. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> definitely. Melissa says definitely. Okay, this is so common because if you think about it, let's say, let me just, let me just take, it, take a parallel. Let's say somebody who is very good with tech, who's like a geek, yeah, and who loves all the techie bits and love all the, you know, finesse with all the things. Well, they would love building a landing page, right? They would love putting links together. They would love doing that because like it's their geeky sort of mind. They're like, yeah, I like doing this. Yeah. You like doing healing, facilitating, being creative, being, um, you know, having having a, a safe space for people to be, to transform in. That's your genius. So how can we make this work? Because we all know that you guys need great business and marketing skills in order to not just obviously have impact and reach people, but you want to increase your income so that you can create scalability in your business. Because you can only create, we talked about this on day two, that you can only really create scalability within your business when you have programs and different levels of different levels where people can join you and recurring even revenue and things like that. That pay money comes in all the time. And that only can be built with systems in place and the right marketing and the right way to show up online and the consistency with that. And because when people don't know how to do that, i.e. they don't know marketing, they don't know business, they don't know how to do content, they don't know the even the basics, what happens is that they just kind of freeze in their marketing because they don't actually know what to do. So when somebody doesn't know what to do, it makes you feel like you're procrastinating because you are, because you're like, oh, I have no idea where to start. That's why you need to invest in business and marketing so that you can do it, right? So often when, so then what happens, people then go, oh, I don't know what to do. So I'm not doing anything. And then they feel, then it starts eating away well, well on their self-confidence maybe or some something else in them that actually has nothing to do with their skills as a, as a space holder. So it's kind of a funny thing, like, you know, you feel like you're not good enough or something, or you feel like you're not made to do this because you don't know how to do marketing in business, which is obviously not true. You know how to do your craft. You know exactly how to do what you're meant to be doing with your customers and your clients. You know, know that 100%, there's no doubt, and you're an expert in it, and you're brilliant at it. So what we want to do here is to get excited about business and marketing and that's why, I mean, this is why I created a Connected Soul Club, because people can join at a really low level and not have this pressure to having to like make like 5, 10K now so that they can pay for their coaching. 
because I know that it takes some time to actually get your head around everything and it should be fun and anything that is under pressure is not fun. It needs to be steady and sustainable pace where you're learning, but it shouldn't be like under pressure because then you feel like you're under pressure and then it is no fun. So it's got, it's got to be like a long-term plan for you to do the business and marketing and learn all that, but fun and light. This is the whole thing, right? And then when you get used to it, it's like everything else, you learn it and you go, oh, I can do this now. So for example, this event, I've done many events. Yeah, okay, I planned the dates and I planned the content and the topics and the channeling. I channeled all the, the teachings. But then I didn't, that's it. I just, it's really easy for me to set it up because I've done it so many times. This is not stressful. I don't feel like you have a stressed energy coming from me or anything. We're like, I'm a pre under pressure or anything. It's all easy. So well, this is the level we want to go to always when we do things so that it feels fun and easy. And then that will become a part of your, how you just go about it online. Hopefully that makes sense. So we want to get excited. So my way of, so look, my way of, overcoming that piece helping my clients is that it should be quite light and quite uh, fun and it should be a joyful experience to learn and you shouldn't be under pressure that's how I've got around the whole oh my god I hate business and marketing thing and made it in that way instead because that I feel that works really well in this space yeah and also, because often what people feel is that when they pay high tickets uh, for business and coaching, let's say they pay 10K for a business and coaching package, uh, or business marketing coaching package, there is that like, oh, return on investment. Am I going to get the return on investment? When am I going to get the return on investment? When am I going to be able to see the money? You always get results, but some programs, especially if they're in the... <laughs> in the uh, the levels of marketing that we do you remember we discussed the levels of marketing that we do the intuitive marketing is what we do and intellectual if you're in the other reactive sort of space of marketing and you've been taught by somebody who is in the reactive space of marketing you know that their their methods won't work for you but you paid 10 grand and it didn't work because it's in the reactive space and not in the intuitive space and then you feel like you didn't learn anything and then you feel like you were ripped off. Okay, this is, there's nothing wrong with high ticket. You just got to be in the right marketing category for it. Anyway, I created a club for $150 a month so that everyone can join it and they can stay in it for a year or two and they're still fine and they're making money and they are just doing it with ease and like more feminine energy in terms of like no pressure so no masculine pressure on it okay i will talk about the connect soul club tomorrow more and you can come and talk about it on Friday, thursday as well all right so let's dive into the four things i want to talk about so the four things i wanted to talk does that make sense guys that we don't want lots of pressure when we're learning um christine says yeah <laughs> she's into all the healing yeah, so it makes sense. Okay, guys, good, good, good. So I'm not saying that all things that you've experienced to this date has been like that, but I have heard many stories like that. And I have been in coaching containers where the more the reactive um, marketing sort of tactics are used and then that doesn't work in the spiritual space. And then it doesn't work what you apply. And then you think you're not getting results and you're not actually getting results because of that. Okay, let's dive in. So there's four, there was four things I wanted to talk to you about today. The first one is, is your voice and your message, like and your branding. I know that sounds like three things, doesn't it? But the fact it's the reason I want to talk about your voice and your message is because this is a very, very important piece, guys. So when you come to communicate your services and your maybe products you have even products I know Melissa has products um when you come to communicate your products and services because what you 
deliver is can be intangible not so much I don't I know uh, Melissa does detox packages but um if you don't do a, a physical product if you do healing coaching something to, to do with energy um or even like trauma informed coaching or something like that the results that we get from energy work is can be quite intangible so when we want to talk about that online it's almost like you've got to describe everything that you do let's say somebody comes to say to you oh Jenny I've just met you so you do healing oh yeah I do healing okay what do you hear oh I do something called light body activations and a clear trauma um you know a clear trauma patterning and, and conditioning and all that with multidimensional healing so I go into subconscious that everyone's like okay yeah cool but what's the result so as you know as a healer or a space holder the results from your work can be multitude because the results can be anything from somebody being a client of yours being able to have much of a closer relationship with their parents to clearing because this was could happen in healing right to clearing a specific block that made them manifest their next job or a pay rise so it could be a financial gain the other one was a relationship gain and you may have not <laughs> they may have not come to you for that specific problem they might have come for some for anxiety and stress but the result they were getting from you working on their anxiety and stress was that and obviously less stress I would have thought so for us as healers and energy workers we need to be very very good with our messaging we need to really learn to articulate the value of what we provide because that's marketing so when we learn how to find the right words for the exact result that the work that you do is going to give the client or within a framework of, of results if you like it's the ability to find the right words and learn messaging so I help my clients with this because I'm a marketeer but I'm an intuitive psychic marketeer and if you work with somebody who is a 3D marketeer they may not be able to tap in in the same way not saying that they're doing something wrong, but because it's such an intangible, and it is not an intellectual usually result that you, they get. It's like a more of an expanded awareness, consciousness, growth, uh, overall 360 degree sort of enhancement of something that is not tangible almost because it didn't say that you made 10x your income or it didn't say that you lost 10 pounds in weight. It's very tangible, that is, right? So therefore, the your voice, this is speaking like this online, whether you do reels, videos, lives, Zoom meetings, wherever your voice, even voice notes. This is why I use voice notes to you guys, because my voice is my transmission, right? And it's almost like when you get the voice from someone and you get the energy through the voice, there is something else that happens in the client and they get the transmission. You will get transmission from a post or from a like an email, of course, as well. But as an added marketing asset, you want to use your voice. Now, the voice if you think of the extended capacity of the voice, the extended capacity of the voice would also be like it's healing. You know, some of my clients sing light language. I don't sing the light language. It comes out sometimes just the light language. But um, the point here, what I'm making it is that 
you can use your voice as a marketing medium because people get your energy then and for those who hasn't really got what your results are by working with you yet can will feel something in the energy okay so anything to do with video voice anything to share your energy is always going to work in the energy space because ultimately that's what people invest in okay so i had this conversation with one of my psychic um ceo leaders visionary leaders friends that i have online emily and we were talking a couple of weeks ago now, i think and we were just like yeah intimate space like we were just confirming to each other how the intimate space talking connecting being together having that authentic real sort of connection with people is actually the only thing that works for healing for the healing space and for the you know space holding growing consciousness space if you like well not the only thing because you can do posts and you do other marketing but but, but what I'm saying here is that your voice is really powerful okay now I think that makes sense to you guys because this is something that you want to consider in your business how you can best use your energy and your voice uh, in order to connect you know with your clients all right the next thing in that category that I want to talk to you is branding now I'm not going to go in I'm not a branding expert or anything but from an online perspective you've got to if you're in the beginning of the journey you're not really sure where you're landing yet because you're working things out so I don't recommend to go and pay for a branding pack package like day one feel yourself in with your feet first and then when you decide to do a branding package go and do it properly um I haven't used a specific branding expert I used Nora for my website and she was channeling all the colors so all the colors that I use um which is like the goal because branding is not just colors by the way it's absolutely a lot more the colors are just a tiny piece but she channeled the the Jenny Lion, the the star, that is my logo, and we did some together because I was doing some drawing as well before she actually designed this on a website. Um, all the color scheme comes from Nora as well, so she kind of she did brand me. This is five years ago now, when I when I went online. However, we had been working in the background together for a while, so she knew my energy. She, she could birth me like this. So I do. That's how I did it, but. I do recommend that you, you do that because then when you grow your business, you can actually rebrand, but and people do that. But when you grow your business and you like invest in the different things and you start get, get, you know, doing events and you do logos, you do the graphics and everything, it's really important to have your branding kit because it's easier as well to say right okay well these are the colors I'm using you know this is the vibe and it just gives a congruent message for everyone and and especially if you have worked with someone who has been able to transmit your energy and your message from a deeper level and then translated that into graphics or into like yeah into colors and everything there's a part of your soul expression yeah so I feel this is really important if you are looking to become a spiritual leader, a spiritual global renowned, renowned leader who wants to build a legacy business, branding for sure. Now, you can rebrand. I have no intention to rebrand at this moment in time, but who knows? I might rebrand like at some point, but at the moment, I'm not doing that. But like, so I'm just saying this is a really important piece. Okay. We also did. Um, me and Nora, we did, at the time, I followed something called, um, she's called Sally Hogshead. And Sally Hogshead is a, like a, bright, she's not exactly a branding expert, but she categorizes different, um, almost like avatars within branding and leadership, who you, who you decide to be, what voice are you going to be online? And she is so good. Like, so we did her process um, 
I can't remember what I paid at the time. It wasn't a lot. It was like uh, less than $100 to do this process where we got out who, who I am in my online private presence. And the three things that came out, the, the leading energy is power. So the, a power brand is somebody like um, Google, Porsche. And so my Jenny Lyon brand is a power brand. So I know from learning everything from Sally that I can lead with power and I can do that comfortably. Some people will not like it, but they wouldn't then be my perfect client. So the power, sort of power inspired people will come to me and they will feel comfortable, you know, in my space. So power is one of my leading then we did, um, so do, you have two secondaries always, I think, yeah. So the other one is prestige. So I taught prestige, well, that's class or higher level premium. So I do talk about this and I make sure, like I live my life in this way as well. I make sure I, <laughs> you know, I'm groomed and that I look prestige, you know, like the Gucci <laughs> sort of thing. I, I'm not into... I don't, I'm not mad on brands myself, but I am good. Like I like quality. So I believe, and also I'm a Libra and I am a Taurus rising, which means Taurians, they like also nice things in life and luxury and you know beautiful surroundings and everything in balance and harmony sort of thing. So that tied in really well with me, who I am as a person. And then the next one is innovation. So innovation, this is me, I suppose, look, I'm the first person in the world taking people through the light body activation program. No one does this process in a group or has done in the world yet. I'm the only one. That's innovation. So, so every time I lean into my power, lean into my, stay in my prestige, and then trust in the innovation and go for it. It's a part of my expression, so it works. So I recommend, you know, at some point, because then that's something I can build on for a long time. And to be honest, it probably won't actually change. Uh, I don't think that will change, but maybe the colors and the schemes, maybe and things like that will change. I'm not really worried about it, but so I'm just going to give you, I'll just give you a heads up to really hear how, how I worked it out. Okay, so that was your voice, your message and your branding. Um, I invested in pieces. So I didn't go, oh, I'm going to spend 50 grand on branding. Do you know what I mean? I didn't. I did within what I was, what I was doing at the time. And then, um, you know, I helped, Nora helped me a lot and I paid her accordingly. But I was, I wanted to create a brand which I can build on, that I can take years and years and years into the future. So that was number one. <laughs> Felt like one, two, three, didn't it? <laughs> Does that make sense, guys? How do you feel about it? How do you guys feel about branding? I'm just looking here now on the chat. Um, yes, so yes. Wow. So Melissa actually says she's a Taurus sun and Libra rising. She's usually the opposite of me then. But yeah. Exactly. As the missus says, hey, yeah, so to the healing. Okay, cool. All right. So I recommend this. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about within this class today is premium positioning. Now, that's kind of, that's a part of my brand, right? But um the reason I want to talk and the reason I really want to raise the bar for the healing industry is for all the reasons that I said before, that naturally somebody who is a channel, a psychic and a medium not necessarily feel like they are a natural entrepreneur or a natural business owner because they didn't start the business to be a business owner. They started their business because they want to help people. So it's kind of it's two different things, right? So I'm really here to help my clients to raise the bar and to raise their authority in this space, in the healing space. And I believe that 
it should be one of the, the highest paid industries in the world because I know that the deep inner work, the healings, the light body work, whatever work you are doing, uh, hypnotherapy or other types of healing or pranic healing or the RTT, there's so many different ways, right, to do, to, to heal people, um, is the next level of human evolution. Because if you think of, we've gone from the old paradigm where everything was just trauma, contraction, lack, stress, fear. <laughs> I'm being really kind of black and white here. Uh, suppression, um, sort of a, a bullying, you know, sort of to get to the top, hierarch hierarchy, uh, not leading together, more like, you know, sort of a controlled uh, sort of power and things like that. That's all, all part of it. So we've come from this place where we we have been, been traumatized literally i mean if you think about it it's, it's pure trauma and for generations so we're going into the new earth where higher consciousness and higher light is coming into our space which means that and for us to be able to fulfill our soul's mission this lifetime we have to get rid, rid of the baggage and that is now the time is now to do the healings and the clearings and do all the, the deep inner work. And that's not reading a book. I want to make really this really clear. What does it mean to have healing? Well, it means that you either have one-on-one -on -one with somebody. I do one-on-one -on -one on my clients. And the person do healing on you. You swap with someone and you do healings on each other. One day, one off, one off, like this. You, for example, use Ascension Clearing Kit, which is my healing program. I have other healing programs as well, Shadow Course and things like that. You receive the energy and the healing and you go into the timeline and you make the changes and you basically spend time on it. That is doing deep inner work. That's the explanation. So I probably spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours to do it, right? So when say people say, oh, I've done all that. Okay, so well, how many hours of healing have you received? Oh, well, I read this book and I've had these you know, coaching sessions. No, 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 no. Energy work performed on you by someone else. Oh, no, I haven't had that. Well, you've had none then. You've had none. So this is where, <laughs> this is where I'm like, and that's where people, for example, when they start with me, they take, get the Ascension Clearing Kit. So they will then receive the recordings, which will do the same thing as if I was there live with them. But obviously they are limited to a certain degree because they are generic and they will not maybe specifically go into the one wound that you remember as a child when you were four. Uh, and that thing happened with the, the, the mother that, you know what I mean? It could be a very specific thing. So what I'm saying here is that regardless how you receive it, it has to be received yeah so when it comes to premium so I, I sort of went off topic a little bit but when it comes to premium positioning if we can make if we can create and decide and or explain the details and the benefits the tangible results of the work that we do then that means we can charge more and we can lift the authority. But unless we do the marketing to prove in some sort of like, you've, 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 you've learned to articulate it and translate it into the world, which means that you must have spent some time on it, which means that you are a badass because you did the work. That means you can charge more. If we don't do the work, and if we don't step up and do the work which is going to take us to the higher places and create that authority and lift the bar, we're not going to get that and we're not going to get paid accordingly. So <laughs> we do the work, we lift the bar, we show up at a high level of authority in a loving space and we will get paid more. It's how it works. It's li literally how it works. So. When 
And why do we want to do this? Well, if, for example, you want to, your work to be showcased somewhere, and let's say somebody want to interview you for a magazine, or you might want to go on television, or you want to go on podcasts, you want to talk about your work and talk about the amazing things that you do. Then when people come and check you out, and sort of like, you know, want to learn more about you, they want to see a high level appearance, or not high level appearance, but like a high level of, of presence from you. And if you don't say, yeah, my packages are like five grand, uh, for this particular program here then they'd be like yeah of course look she she's has embodied her brand she is um you know really clear in her messaging she has learned how to position herself um she's you know explained things very well for me to understand it makes sense to me and I trust her because of this so I'm gonna pay five grand if something is messy and there is no backup data, or if there is a lack of sort of like there's not congruent congruency, and if it feels like you can't even maybe find somebody online that you want to learn more about, um, or there's no data, like you know, and they say, oh yeah, it's five grand, they'd be like, well, why would I pay somebody that kind of money when I can't see any evidence? There's nothing I can like track back on. I haven't seen many testimonials. I'm not sure actually I have seen maybe a couple of lives but it's kind of like there is a there's a gap you know that's how you lift the brand so by doing everything really well and learn marketing your business really well and make sure that you you know commit to it that's how you build a business and lift the brand and do all the other things so there's really no other way around it there's nothing wrong with wanting to not do that and carry on like as you are I mean I have a couple of friends that are actually a bit older so they're like maybe in the 60s and they're not really wanting to like build you know a global brand they want to do the healing work and they do they get most of the things and recommendations and they work per hour maybe like 80 pound an hour or something but they're happy because they don't want they don't want to do the other things that would be involved in order to lift build the brand they're not interested in that which is fine so this is like a conscious choice right so for me when I decided when I was like okay I want to build a global brand why because I want to have global impact okay Jenny so what is required <laughs> that's what I said to myself so what is required Jenny to do this Okay, what is required is learn all the business and marketing, become a ninja marketeer, learn what works in this space, then carry on learning, like doing my craft, how I do it, obviously, like re refining my finesse, my, my healing abilities always, working, having work done on myself so that I keep clearing my own stuff so that I can be the leader uh, and I can show you that I'm, you know, a walking example of my work. So I was like, okay, I'll do it, you know, because the 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 want of the desire of the wanting to be the global influencer is far more bigger than me thinking, oh, I don't want to learn how to write copy on the landing page. Because like that would be what, you know, potentially could stop me or say, oh, I don't want to do social media or I don't want to show up online. Or I don't want to speak to people like I just want them to come to me, like stay procrastinating. But my desire of global influence was so much bigger than these little trolls in my ear going, me, I don't want to do it, me, I don't want to do it, me, you know. So I just pushed through and I will never stop. So if you have this visionary power within you that you know you know if you're going to be a global influencer or not you know if you want to be a spiritual leader a renowned spiritual leader so you know you're ready to do the work you will do the work right because to me it was never a I was like to me it was never really, really like I was like, hey, I'll do what it takes. Give me the tools. <laughs> like, and then I learned everything and I learn all the time. I invest all the time. 
I always research stuff. I follow through on stuff, even when I think it doesn't work. When I'm thinking, God, this seems to not be working very well. Okay, never mind. Let's keep going. Let's keep trying it and like see, follow through to the end, to what I said what I was going to do. And then if it was like, okay, well, that's quite interesting. The statistics on this particular thing didn't seem to work. Okay, we'll have to do it different next time, right? I'm just going to make sure my phone's off. So you, you collect data on what didn't work. And it's never like it didn't work because I wasn't good enough. It was just I always take it as a statistic data. So if something didn't work, I'd be like, okay, that's interesting that that didn't work. And never attach, attach it to my self-worth. Never attach it to my self-worth. I always look at it as an experiment. Like, how, how can I make it better? And I follow my intuition as well. All right. So, premium positioning. So if you know that you are a visionary leader and a CEO and somebody who wants to become a renowned spiritual leader in the world, you know what you've got to do. I've just told you. <laughs> so you invest in the business and marketing, you keep clearing your blocks, you keep pushing the edge and you keep doing it and you're consistent every day. That's it. And have fun. And have a light experience as you're doing it because it needs to be, you know, we need to have connect with lovely people, have amazing, like the people in community in my community are absolutely amazing. The quality of the people in there are like, wow, I love them so much because they're so amazing uh, in every way. So it's the whole thing, right? Okay. The next thing is I've got a <laughs> I've got a note. <laughs> The next thing I want to work talk to you about is visionary leadership. So we kind of um, we touched on that really already, already with, with the premium. But the reason I talk about visionary leadership is because I I am a visionary leader. So and I I activate the visionary leaders so that they feel like they can really embody and be the visionary leader they were born to be. So like we hang out together, the visionary leaders, um, and you know really sort of expand and, and activate each other sort of thing. But visionary leadership means that you can kind of say it's a new earth leadership because you as a psychic or an intuitive can see visions of the new earth. You can see how things could work out. I have so many of my clients, they're like, oh my God, I can see how this particular system could work for homeschooling or I can see how this particular thing will work for communities with um, that are self-sufficient. Or I can see how this particular teach, way of teaching would really work in like the new schools, whatever. So like they can see um, things, right, for the future, which they would love to create. And your vision is your how should I put it? It's like your vision is the thing, the one thing that can catalyze you every day, even on a shit day. Because the vision, it's like I said earlier, the vision is bigger than little me. So when I've had my if my own my own ego and like my own talking, my own negative voice or whatever in my head, all the bullshit basically, when that comes to the surface. I'm just like, okay, that's just my human shit. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, that's just my human shit. So I just have to go, right, okay, well, well that's interesting. Okay, let's clear the human shit and then <laughs> let's keep, go, keep going with the vision. So this is why it works so well for new earth leaders, coach, healers, spiritual coaches, anyone who's got a spiritual mission to connect with a vision every day. Because our motivation to do our business is not money usually yes we want to create financial freedom but it's not the like it's not the one thing that we think about how much money am I making all the time it's not it's not actually the reason you're doing your business the reason you're doing your vision your your business is because you have this vision of creating whatever that change you see that what drives you it's part of your ikigai you can talk about that another time um so that's why it's so important to connect with the vision on a daily basis 
as opposed to something else that is like it doesn't mean you shouldn't have your goals and your personal goals and your personal uh like I have personal goals and business goals for this business so I've said okay this is how many people I want in the membership by the end of the 31st of December this is how many people I want in the light body activation program in, in September and then I'm going to run the next one in February and that's how many people I want in that program so like I have goals but I don't go oh my god have I hit my goals today? oh my god have I hit my goals it's like okay well did I hit my goal well I've worked and I've made taken all the action steps in order to hit that goal and maybe I will exceed the goal and or maybe I would just be close to the goal so fine I don't really mind like it's fine I just have the goals it's fine and those goals um are often just like they just drop in it's not like me going in my mind it's like I have to make that many people in there because then I can make this much money or then is this much this much it's more like how many people ah okay so ah that many people okay cool that's really great I love that and I see then all the people because in the end of the day you want to help people so you're like how many people can I help today if I'm gonna if I'm gonna activate a billion people by 2030 wow let's get going right so if you keep your vision close to you every day, you will find all the human tasks and the human shit. <laughs> Fine. You will just get through it. So your most important task is to focus and with the vision every day, as in like really tap into the vision and really bring that vision into your daily a task list and even if the task list is something like just even writing something out it's a part of the big vision right it's a part of the little puzzle so this is also why often unless some so I've had my journeys with money focus where I have tried things out so uh for example um I was going through my own sort of clearing my own money blocks and clearing my own abundance blocks and things like that. And then I was like kind of focusing on that a bit. And as soon as I started to talk about money, people, it didn't stick very much with my people because they're like, oh, boring. Where, when are you going to talk about the vision about changing those billion people in the world? It's much more, much more exciting, right? Because that's in my mission. So I've had my I should put it, I've had my journeys with money as such as in like speaking about it and message. And I've come to the conclusion that I don't talk about money much. Like, I don't mind talking about it, but like, it's not like I'm saying, oh, you shouldn't be caring. I care about money a lot. Like, I want to make loads of money, but it's not like I will make all the money if I follow my vision. So it's fine. It's like I, I can just chill out about that. So that's worked for me. Unless you are a... I would have thought, unless you are uh, like a money muse or a portal for money or somebody who's actually here to break the paradigm around money, I probably suggest that you talk about the vision and about the results and all the magic that you provide and all the amazing things that your clients experience with you before you talk about money. doesn't mean you can't talk about it, but it's like your focus should really be on the big vision. And that could be money for some. I have a client who's a starseed and she's actually a money uh, muse, like a money coach sort of thing. But it works fine because it's a part of, she also has got past experience um, with finances and stuff like that. So it makes sense that she does it uh, and she loves doing it. So and it's fine. So, yeah. So what I was trying to say here is that if you connect with your vision and you can really feel and you let that lead you every day, that is your long-term success route, like your long-term uh, pathway to create the success that you really, really want in your business and your life. Okay, what's the end of this bonus masterclass? So let's recap. We talked about the voice and the message. We talked about intangible results and your ability to create epic marketing and message uh, content I help you with this in my program so that you can translate the amazing things that you are here to share with the world we talked about branding this is an optional thing but I've just looked at it from a long-term perspective I think you should get this done 
I can give you names and numbers and things, but like it's a part which is important. Uh, we talk about premium positioning because we want to lift the industry. We want to create some really stability and structure and um, authority and trust in the healing industry because it's going to be, I believe it should be the most highest paid industry in the world because we're changing the world with it. Um, yeah, I believe that. So healing should be that. Um, it will it will take over doctors like it will be the, the the highest paid industry. Um, and then we talk about visionary leadership and how we can connect with your visionary or with your vision on a on a on a regular basis so that you don't so you have your eyes on the price basically, not the eyes on the price, but you know what I mean. Like you have your eyes on on the goal and what what you're doing. All right hope that makes sense there's not really any homework I just wanted to give this to you today and I wanted to share with you today um, how I have embodied what I teach and how I uh, how I really stand for these things that I have taught or taught you today and that you can do the same and if it resonates if any of these things that you've been hearing up to now resonates uh, I really recommend that you come on Thursday and talk about joining the community because there's going to be you there's a billion business coaches out there and there is lots of different options for you to grow your business but if these intuitive sort of non-tangible kind of really refined ways of doing things within the energy space and energy business if that resonates with you I think we would be a good fit because you have then thought, now, nah, I don't like the way it's done over there because I don't know why, but it doesn't sit with me, right? And if you then feel this sits with right, then we are a good fit because then we are sort of playing from the same hymn, if you like. So come along on Thursday, which is the, I'll drop the link actually below here for the um, Q&A. And you can come and talk, we can talk about things. But um that's all for me today. I'll see you tomorrow with Shop with Jenny. <laughs> Shop with Jenny. There's going to be some, uh, you know, some bargains as well, three for two and things like that. Ah, you're going to like it. And I'll see you also for the New Earth Masterclass. So let me tell you about New Earth Masterclass. This is what I run every month. Duality topic. Tomorrow is from hidden to, to um, visible. Come and ask questions about New Earth. Come ask questions about online entrepreneurship. Come ask about questions about from hidden to visible. Come and ask questions about uh, like about where you are right now and what you need right now. Um, that's it. It's free. <laughs> you can come along. <laughs> and Wednesday, Carol is talking to us, my beautiful client. And then Thursday, we have the Q&A. And then Friday is price draw, price draw, price draw for everyone who's logged their homework in day, well, by Thursday. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. Have a wonderful evening and day. And invite your friends to this group as well. If you feel like, hey, Anna, I met Jenny, you need to listen to her. Invite them to the group. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.